Hello, kindly people of YouTube. Welcome to my channel, Punk Rock Fairy Princess. As y'all know, I mean, if you read the title, the trailer for Season 6 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. came out a couple of days ago, and yeah, I'm going to attempt to glean as much as I can from the minute and ten seconds of content. Like with my Game of Thrones trailer analysis, I'm doing this for fun, and I don't actually know what I'm doing. So, without further ado, let's go. Your job is to put together a team you trust. If you think about everything you're up against all at once, you'll crack. I was there until the very end. I'm glad you got a little time together. We got more than we thought we would. This isn't a job I take lightly. I have to be responsible for everyone. Fence is frozen out in deep space somewhere. I have not a single doubt you will find him. Sorry, boys. It's ladies' day. We don't know where they're from. They're extremely powerful. You're, you're from S.H.I.E.L.D. Never heard of it. Right, so that was a lot. <laughs> we start in the lighthouse with a recording of Coulson giving Mac advice on being the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. The recording is coming from the toolbox, and the toolbox, if y'all don't remember, uh, was given to Coulson by Fury to rebuild S.H.I.E.L.D. after the whole, you know, Hydra thing. And this gives the scene some Fury Coulson parallels. May reflects upon her time with Coulson before he died. Throughout the seasons, Coulson and May have always been close, and they are often like surrogate parents of the team, especially for Daisy. There were hints at romantic potential of their relationship a few times throughout the show, and they finally kissed in season 5. Max voiceover talks about the responsibility of being the new director of S.H.I.E.L.D. It seems that the beginning of the season will focus on Mac as he deals with his new position. I think that Mac was a great choice for director. He's a steady, practical guy who will, in my opinion, be able to rebuild S.H.I.E.L.D. quite well. We can also see that S.H.I.E.L.D. has a bunch of new recruits, because I don't recognize any of these people from last season. We then see Fitz going into cryosleep. While in the end of season 5, Fitz dies saving Mac and Polly to change the timeline. There is still a Fitz from an alternate timeline who is out in space in cryosleep. Since we see a shot of Gemma standing by a similar looking pod, we can assume, as Coulson's voiceover says, that they find each other. We see the first shot of Daisy in her new quake suit, and she looks so cool. What I found interesting is that throughout the portion of the fight that we see, she doesn't use her powers. However, since we see her using powers later on the trailer, this probably isn't a super important point for the series. The people she's fighting are wearing tactical gear, and there are no visible signs of their alliance or whatever organization they're from. They could be from some country's government, or maybe remnants of Hydra. There's someone behind her who we can't really see. Daisy's reference to Ladies' Night suggests that it is one of the female members of the team, and the fact that this person is not joining in on the fight may point to it being Gemma. It doesn't look a whole lot like Gemma though, so it really could be anybody. Then we get a series of short clips. Someone, who I'm almost certain is Gemma, is lying on a lit up floor. This could possibly be on the spaceship we see in the next clip. The burst of light I think is some sort of rift, possibly between alternate timelines or universes. In the next clip, we see that Piper's still around, which is awesome, because I think she's cool. Agent Davis is out of retirement, and also Eli's back. They sit in the cockpit of some sort of vehicle, possibly the spaceship from the previous clip. If that were the case, then they're all staring in shock at the rift. I think this is probably the group going to find Fitz. This explains why we don't see any of these characters in the same scenes as Mac or May. Deke is back, y'all! I was pretty sure that we wouldn't be seeing the last of him when he flashed out of existence with the timeline change in the last episode of, of season 5, um, but it's nice to see that he is definitely going to be in this season. This does present interesting hints as to what exactly the rift goes to, or if there's more than one rift, because if Deke is there, that means it's probably from an alternate universe in which, you know, the whole 
alien enslavement thing actually happens, so it's the Deke that they remember. Also in the lighthouse, crystals grow out of and kill a guy. Um, and if you look closely at the scene, you can tell that it, there's some sort of, I don't know, I think it's ice growing out of the crystals, so I think there's some sort of ice crystals. Anyway, May stabs him with something that has a blue light on it, and probably to stop it. Uh, they look to be in some sort of workshop, and from the knife and the broken pieces of wood on the ground, there has just been a fight. We are shown a new piece of alien tech, some sort of teleportation device. From the look of the weapon of the guy in the teleportation device, he is not from Earth, or at least not from this version or timeline of Earth. This could also be taking place in the lighthouse, just from, you know, the general surroundings. A Quinjet speeds through the air, and someone has a psychedelic trip in what looks to be a shield lab. It's kind of hard to see who it is, although my guesses would either be Deke or Agent Davis. Whoever it is, they are wearing some kind of glasses that I assume are causing the psychedelic trip. Daisy is badass again, and blows a bunch of solars and tactical gear away. They are in some sort of laboratory, I think, from just looking around. A guy in a suit stands at the far end of the room and is clearly an ally since, you know, he's not blown away by Quake's powers. I think he's probably a new character this season because he doesn't look familiar. Gemma is in a space pod very similar to the one Fitz is cryo-frozen in. The blood fingerprints on the glass suggest that this scene was preceded by a struggle. Clearly, Gemma is going to have to make a very difficult decision this season related to this clip. I just hope she and Fitz get some happiness because those two have been through so much shit. I just want them to be happy. Then we see Yo-Yo speed away from May and a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in what looks to be a hotel or restaurant. From this scene, I think in this season there's going to be two main storylines. One with Mac, May, Yo-Yo, and Deke, and other S.H.I.E.L.D. agents on Earth, and the other with Gemma, Daisy, Piper, Eli, and Agent Davis in space looking for Fitz. Someone is tackled through the glass wall of a S.H.I.E.L.D. building, suggesting that the rebuilding of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going quite well if they have a building that looks this nice. We are also introduced to, I assume, are going to be the antagonists for the Earth storyline. First is the knife-wielding lady, looking to be standing in front of May. Then there is the man with a large beard, blowing smoke out of his nostrils. And finally, a guy with a gun that looks quite alien. He also looks similar to the guy Yo-Yo is fighting in this clip. And from Yo-Yo's expression, this fight seems personal. Max's voiceover describing them as extremely dangerous and not knowing where they're from, leads me to think that they came through the rift and are also possibly inhuman. Mac and a guy who I'm almost certain is Deke run in a hallway away from an explosion. Deke is bleeding and Mac looks like he's wearing the same as he is in this clip where he punches someone or something in, I think, a warehouse? It looks like a warehouse. A blue beam goes up through what looks to be some kind of government building and I'm pretty sure this flag is that of Chile. As far as I can tell, the closest uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been to Chile is Peru back in Season 1, so the specific location is probably not super relevant. Also, the vehicles in front of this building are very similar to those in this clip of a truck crashing into two S.H.I.E.L.D. vehicles. And since the truck seems to be coming out of a bright white light, I think that maybe the blue light creates a rift and the truck comes out of it. Although obviously this is purely speculation. Then of course you have the classic oh shit trailer moment. You're... you're from S.H.I.E.L.D. Never heard of it. I'm assuming that Dark Coulson, as I'm gonna call him, along with the Knife Lady, Smokebeard, and Gun Dude, has come through the rift from an alternate universe or timeline. His gun looks alien, and very similar to Gun Dude's gun. And in Dark Coulson's universe slash timeline, as we just heard, S.H.I.E.L.D. does not exist. So that's the trailer for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 6th season. I'm really excited for it. I'm interested to see the interactions between Dark Coulson and the rest of the team, especially May and Daisy. I'm glad Deke's back. I think it'll be interesting to see Mac as a director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And like I said, I really, really hope that Fitzsimmons gets some sort of happy ending, because honestly, after everything, I think they deserve it. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen this season, or what you hope is going to happen this season. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!